In expressions that consist of four or more terms, it is sometimes necessary to first group terms together in order to create a common factor to all four terms. For example, if you have a look at number one, this expression does not have anything that is common to all four terms. The C is only common to the first three terms, the 3 is only common to the first two terms, and the 2 is only common to the last two terms. So in this particular example, you cannot take out a common factor to all four terms. But if you collect the first two terms together and the last two terms together, between those two terms there is a common factor. And so you can take out the 3c as a common factor here, between the 3c squared and the negative 3c, that gives you c minus 1. And over here, there is a common factor of 2, which also gives you c minus 1. So you have now created, in these two terms that you've created, there is actually a common factor of c minus 1, and you can therefore take that out as a common factor to factorize it completely. In number 2, it is the same story. There is nothing that is common to all four terms of the expression. So if we just start off by grouping those two together and grouping those two together, we take out a common factor. So 2p squared minus 6p, 2p is common. That leaves you with p minus 3. And in the second lot of the terms, the x is common. So negative x is common. And that will leave you with 3. And remember, you've taken out a negative which changes that sign to a negative. Okay, now, this bracket here is not common, but we saw in the previous lesson, or the previous video, that if you take out a common factor of negative 1, you can switch the terms around, so that gives you 2p times p minus 3 plus x times p minus 3. p minus 3 is now a common factor, and you can take it out and you are left with 2p plus x as your second factor. In your homework book, there are two for you to try on your own, so please pause the video and try these. Okay, in number one, if we group these first two terms together and the second two terms together, there are actually a couple of different ways that you can do number one. This is just one of them. I'll show you the alternative. So, if we take out a common factor to negative 4m squared and negative 24m, the common factor is negative 4m. That leaves you with m plus 6. Over here, we have negative m minus 6. If I take out a negative, that leaves me with m plus 6. And so we get m plus 6 and negative 4m minus 1 as the common factor. An alternative way that you might have done it, because this one is a little bit tricky because it has actually got a like term in it. So if you had added the like terms first, negative 24m minus m is negative 25m minus 6. That then gives you a quadratic trinomial which you can factorize and your factors are negative 4m minus 1 and m plus 6. If you multiply that out, you will get back to the negative um, 25m minus 6 trinomial. All right, in number two, there are no like terms here and there are no common factors. So the only way that we can do this one is if we group. So we take out a common factor of x from the first two terms. That leaves us with x squared minus 4. We can then take out a common factor of 3 from the second two terms, which leaves us with x squared minus 4. x squared minus 4 now becomes the common factor. We can take it out. And our second factor is what is left, which is x plus 3. Now, if you got that far, you have taken out the highest common factor, but there was a little trick in this question as well. x squared minus 4 itself can factorize further, and the question did say that we needed to factorize fully, so we need to recognize that x squared minus 4 is the difference of two squares. It will factor into x plus 2 times x minus 2, and then don't forget that we still have to multiply that by the factor of x plus 3.